guys welcome back to our channel in today's video we're going to take you guys around this beautiful property behind me here by Ogilvy Homes so this is the Kingston we've been invited to the pre-launch of this show home and this site is located in Perth so this site will only have about 15 homes so we're going to take you guys around this beautiful show home and hope you guys enjoy this video and if you're interested in buying this property we are going to link all the details in the description box below and we'll also put the contact details for the sales manager so you guys can have the opportunity to purchase one of these beautiful houses so let's go inside this house so once you enter the house we have this beautiful entrance hallway it's really really big um you could even use this as an extra room for something even um as a home office or something um, you have this little section where you have a couch which you can use for lounging. I love the view of the ceiling windows. I think it just adds to the beauty of this room and also it brings in extra lighting. So this is the view from the upstairs looking down um, on the landing. So let's go and see the rest of the rooms. Downstairs we have an open plan kitchen slash dining slash family area. We also have a separate lounge and we'll take you guys through the lounge area. And then we had the privilege of chatting to the interior designer, Caro, who talked us through um, the work that she did on this house in terms of um, designing it and getting it set up and ready. Now in the living room, over to your left here you have this beautiful feature wall this is absolutely incredible you have the fireplace which gives this room a cozy feel it is warm it's quite warm actually like i feel like i want to take off my jacket right now that's how warm this place is and it just shows you how well it's built so yeah it's a lovely space lots of light coming in here you have your french doors which leads you to your back garden so if you have people over uh, if you're hosting have the opportunity to just open up these doors and be able to access your back garden from here so if you have a lot of people coming over you're having a good time this is a beautiful room to use and you can utilize it for whatever you also have this very large unit table in here as well again beautiful with the matching mirrors here at the top then you have this beautiful artwork here as well the highlight of this room is this beautiful chandelier just looking down on the coffee table we've got Kara here and she designed this beautiful house well the interior mm -hmm. right yep, am i correct the interior yep um so the scenery in this part of the world is amazing yeah. so lots of greens heathers nice colour palette yeah. and so it was my idea to try and bring some of the outside in so as you walk around the house you will see these kind of heather colours yeah. what I call the kind of Scottish colour palette yes um, so it's not shortbread and tartan but it is a slight nod to a nice Scottish landscape I definitely noticed that Did with you the wallpaper yep. I thought got... that was quite stunning especially when going up the yeah stairs. we've got the plaid wallpaper yeah. and a couple of nice cow and tartan cushions and you know it's quite funky it's 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 you know it's fun yeah. um and so it's been lovely designing the house because it's a big house beautiful garden yeah french doors everywhere balconies um it ticks a lot of boxes yeah. and it's a gorgeous little development as well it's not too big yeah so it feels quite special down here so yeah it's been a great little job i've enjoyed it is this your sort of your first uh, job with Ogilvy or have you worked no, with No, I do before? all the show homes for Ogilvy. This okay. one's a little bit different because of the location mm -hmm. and the size of the house. It's yeah. one of their bigger, more bespoke houses. Yeah. So like I say, it, it has everything, you know, double garage, balconies, astrative garden, mm -hmm. you know, f proper family living. Yeah, yeah. I guess it, yeah. it has everything. So... Yeah, it's been really nice. Perfect. So okay. I'll, I'll link um, Carol's detail okay. box below um, if you guys want to get in touch. Um, if you're interested in any of the items that you see in this house, I'm sure she'll be more than happy more than to happy, yeah. help you guys find them because I know you'll be asking. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you so right. much. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> so we're now going to take you guys through the rest of the property. So back into the entrance hallway, we have a downstairs loo 
decent size, beautifully decorated. You have the half height tiles in here. Uh, you've got a small window, but it's bringing in enough light. So it's pretty, pretty perfect. And you have a toilet as well as a sink in here. So it's a two piece um, downstairs loo. Another thing I love about this house is that you have a door that you can use to access the garage. So you don't need to access um, the house through the garage door outside. We also have some storage um, downstairs as well. So we're now going to go into the utility room. Very big. You've got your tumble dryer, washing machine, and you also have a sink in here. You also have a back door that you can use to access your garden. So yeah, very spacious utility room. I love the space in here. We're now going to go into the kitchen slash dining area slash family area. This is the highlight of this house downstairs. This is a very lovely space. You have your dining table here, which sits about six people. It's a wooden dining table. Uh, you've got your bifolding doors. We also have this lovely couch in here. I love how they opened up the bifolding doors um, to the garden. So let's talk about this lovely kitchen. So you have an island, which comes as standard. You also have spotlights across the entire room. Um, as you can see, it was an, a show home open event, so we had lots of food. Um, so yeah, so this is the kitchen. Um, you've got a double oven, a fridge, freezer as well. Uh, again, you have the option if you wanted to in the future to get a bigger fridge, you could possibly get one fitted in here because you do have the space. So lots of cabinets. Then you have these double doors um, and we were advised that those doors are going to be changed into um, glass doors. So we got the chance to speak to the architect. So he designed all these beautiful houses. Uh, so you're the architect for yes. all, this, all the buildings? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Different sites. Uh, um, so what's your name? It's Craig. Craig. Craig uh, McGarvey. Craig McGarvey. Okay, so is it just this, the Ogilvy? Um, Sites or buildings that you've drawn up there, drawings for, or is it have you done others? Companies have you worked with other? Uh, well, this is it's, uh, old movies. That's that's the company I've I've uh, worked, worked with certainly for the past seven years. Um, developments like this don't come along very often, yeah. to be honest. Mm -hmm. uh, this is very bespoke, different, mm -hmm. a departure from I suppose what you would call a standard product site. So. Mm -hmm. We've got an opportunity here to make we kind of fine tune a bit of fine tuning and tweaks to the yeah. house types, which basically makes gives every every house their, their own identity. Yeah. yeah. Um, and basically means that you know you're, you're not going to be staying in the same house as your next door yeah. neighbour. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah. Um, yeah, completely different. So we've got a bit of a free, a free rein here to, to, to put in some some nice kind of contemporary finishes. Um, and, a, and obviously a semi-rural setting, which is quite nice. So in that case, did you actually uh, get a chance to work with any of the clients um, that are buying the property? They say, they say, I want this. Do you get to design? Yeah. This bespoke? The, the, yo, the, this, is, this is pretty much was done before the fact. Okay. So this was, um, yeah, the, 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 the main the design ethos behind this, I suppose, if you look at um, conforms holdings which is that street mm -hmm. and you go along and you look at each of the house types every house type is different yeah um, so there isn't a, a kind of a rigid build form okay. everyone's got slightly different even the houses the boundary treatments mm -hmm. everything's slightly different yeah and um, so we wanted to just kind of take that and, and really apply it here yeah. which is what we've but still built to like a done. standard yeah sense. yeah to, to a certain extent so, so there's there's four house types on this in total, but there's 12 variations yeah. all across the whole site in total. If you looked at like plot one and two, mm. that's our Harriet house type. Uh, but one, but there's, if you look at them side by side, they're completely different. Yeah. So it's just just with the external finishes. Okay. Um, so you have to kind of double take. You think that you're, if you look at it, you, you long enough, you'll, you'll realise it's the same house type. Yeah. But 
Ja, for at skåre hans mykoder, der fanger sig som derfra, at jeg kan break sig op på mig. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks for the trip. We're now going to take you guys upstairs to the bedrooms, so let's go. My favorite feature about this house is definitely this beautiful landing. Architecture did a fantastic job. And I just love this feature here. Um, you can look down, you'll be able to see who's downstairs. Um, well, yeah, up here. Another thing that I love about this property is the roof windows. I mean, come on, look at that view. That view is free, guys. I have this lovely couch where you can just come here, sit down, relax, read a book or something and just take it all in. I just think this is lovely. Like, just, just look at this view. How amazing is that? So I'm gonna take you guys into the first bedroom, which is the smallest room. Even though it's the smallest room, but it's still quite big. How beautiful is this room, guys? It's absolutely stunning. It's set up as um, sort of like a jungle type theme. Uh, it's really, really beautiful. Yeah, they've set this up as a baby's room, but if you don't have any kids, you can utilize this room as an office or a guest room. You can pretty much use it as you wish. You can even make it into like a little family room or cinema room upstairs, but it's versatile like you can use it for anything because it's quite big like you have your cot bit here but if say you wanted to have a double bed in here you could definitely fit it and i love the view in here as well you get that wonderful view um which is absolutely stunning you also have the fitted wardrobes in here uh, which are amazing you can use this for your storage and things like that so yeah it's a lovely room so i'm going to take you guys now into bedroom number two this is the second bedroom of the property it's really really lovely you have a very large window here over to my right that's bringing in so much light and you have a beautiful view which again is a wonderful highlight of this house and you do have built-in wardrobes as well over here to my left so you can use this for storage and um, it's really really big and you can use this for storing your jackets whatnot so it's a really really lovely room so i'm going to take you guys to the third bedroom this is the third bedroom and i think you can use this one as a guest room i love 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 this room it's absolutely stunning imagine if you have guests and they're sleeping in here um in a room full of character and just over here you have this beautiful double bed oh look at the colors in here you have two bedside units with lamps and i love the featured mirrors which again adds character to this room and you also get fitted wardrobes in here as well i love this actually i've never seen this before like the little um handle. handle yeah for i'm gonna show you guys my favorite feature about this room and um, over here to my right you have this beautiful juliet balcony which just adds so much character to this house wake up and be able to see this beautiful landscape you can use this as a master bedroom i suppose as well so i'm going to show you guys the ensuite so you have a lovely shower for a guest room i think it's a really really large shower you have the full height tiles in here of the colors you've got the spotlights as well which is a nice feature then you have your sink as well as your toilet i'm now going to take you guys to the best which is the master bedroom so let's go so this is this absolutely stunning master bedroom wow wow it's incredible guys so much space so much light coming in oh my goodness i'm gonna start over here to my right so again you have the fitted wardrobes massive absolutely massive so you can even split it you know if you have your husband or partner or boyfriend they can take one half you can take the other so there's plenty of space for you to store your clothes and i love the colors in here i'm a beige babe so for me this is like <laughs> a dream come true <laughs> because these are the colors that i like <laughs> so i'm definitely going to utilize carol and ask her where she got these pillows they are beautiful good quality as well and um, the beddings are lovely as well and um, so you have this double bed which is lovely i love the frame it's like this lovely it's a mixture of like 
um like cot is a cotton i don't know if it's cotton but it's got wood and look at these lovely quirky bedside units i've never seen anything like this so i guess this just goes well with the with the bed as well i love this little section here because you can utilize it and you know if you and your man come in here you've got your champagne if you want to just relax but yeah you've got options and, and another thing is you have a it tells you the temperature so i believe you can control the temperature in this room the as well yeah. The, yeah the thermostat so that's a nice feature so now i'm going to take you guys to the best part i know i said <laughs> the um the landing was the best part i think i like them both the same okay so guys we're going to look at the balcony now so you have this uh, beautiful balcony that is accessed through your master bedroom. This would be perfect, even in the evenings, you can come out here and just relax, have a good time, read your book or whatever, and just take in this beautiful view. You can see your downstairs, your patio from up here as well. So you have a lovely, lovely garden, beautiful size garden. And we also have a large ensuite in the master bedroom, lovely shower, very spacious. And of course, you've got your spotlights in there. So, so now I'm going to take you guys into the family bathroom. This is a large bathroom, actually. Um, you have plenty of space. I think, to be quite honest with you, this can even be an actual bedroom. That's how big this bathroom is. Um, so where do I start? So you have your lovely chrome radiators in here this is quite large so this would be perfect for hanging your towels and things like that you've got a lovely shower here very large full height tiles beautiful then you have the bathtub over here which is a decent size as well you have your half tile and i just love the featured um artwork at the top so because sometimes when you go in a bathroom it can be quite boring but i love how the designer caro has done such a fantastic job designing this bathroom and it's actually got character um then you have your toilet as well as a sink in here so plenty of space and i think you even have the opportunity to be able to do something even bigger in this bathroom if you wanted to you could even possibly one day get like a standalone bathtub to be honest it's that big but you have options yeah, right in the middle. like look how big this is like there's so much space in here and you only yeah it's so nice like you've only got your toilet here but you've got all this space as well yeah yeah it's definitely the best yeah, yeah. I don't know about anyway, yeah, and do you, do you think because you've got a smaller site that helps that in a way like, uh, yeah a bit more attention to detail yeah yeah, 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 yeah. exactly yeah. so um, earlier i spoke to you and you spoke about how um some things are like they don't come with it and some come so if you can just tell us a little bit what comes with the house it's a bit more higher spec than usual um the only things really would come in really heavy in terms of like the spotlights and things like that um they all come with uh tiling is all included um, ah, really yeah that's it so tiling's all included uh, every bathroom's already got a shower in it um so yeah all, uh, the back gardens are already fully tough uh, fencing comes as standard. Maybe about half of them have got some sort of feature wall in them. Mm. Wow, because I was like, I was wondering actually, like earlier on, I was like, does this come or does that'll, it yeah, not yeah. come? Yeah, 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 a lot of them have yeah. got, yeah, so that'll, that'll come with most of them, yeah, because yeah. 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 most of them are a corner, because of the size of them, yeah. they've got a corner plot. So. And is it full size, the wall, like six foot, it or depends, is it three foot? It depends, so we've got about four with the full size walls, yeah. but most of them have got the driveway, I've got a small one with a lot of yeah. iron work on it. 